going to learn how to find the greatest common factors of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. This lesson will enrich your knowledge and skills in addition, multiplication, and division of numbers. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to find the common factors and the greatest common factors of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. Let's read and analyze this problem. Mary and her friends were assigned to decorate their classroom. There were three pieces of ribbon measures 16 centimeters, 24 centimeters, and 40 centimeters respectively. Mary wanted to cut them into strips of the same length. What is the largest possible length of each strip? We want to know the largest possible length that Mary can cut from the three pieces of ribbon. So, we are going to find the GCF of 16, 24, and 40 centimeters. So, I will be discussing the steps in finding the GCF. Steps in finding the GCF or the greatest common factor using continuous division. Step 1. Write the numbers horizontally and find the prime number that will divide all numbers if possible. Step 2. Divide by that prime number and write the quotients below the dividends. Step 3. Continue the process until none of the numbers has a common prime divisor. So yung alam na natin yung steps in finding the GCF using continuous division, pwede na natin isolve yung problem lang. Again, ang step 1 natin, write the numbers horizontally and find a prime number that will divide all numbers if possible. So ito yung given natin kanina. We have 16 centimeters. 24 centimeters and 40 centimeters. So, sinulat lang natin ng horizontal. And then, isip daw tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide dito sa tatlo nating numbers. So, pag sinabi natin prime number, ito yung number na meron lamang na dalawang factor. So, pag sinabi natin factors, ito yung numbers that we multiply. So, for example, ng mga prime number natin, 2, 3, 5, 7. So, ayun ay mga prime number. So, bakit? Kasi, ang kanilang factors lang ay 1 and itself. 1 at yung sarili lamang nila. So, ano bang prime number na pwede natin i-divide sa 16, 24, and 40? So, pwede tayong mag-divide na 2. So, 16 divided by 2 is equals to 8 24 divided by 2 is equals to 12 40 divided by 2 is equals to 20 step 2 divide by that prime number and write the quotients below the dividends so ito yung ating quotients so sinulat lang natin sa ilalim ng numbers no ating dividend and then, iisip ulit tayo ng prime number na divisible dito sa ating quotients. So, we have 8, 12, and 20. So, divisible siya, itong tatlong to, divisible sila sa 2. So, pwede pa natin i-divide into 2. 8 divided by 2 is equals to 4. 12 divided by 2 is equals to 6 20 divided by 2 is equals to 10 Step 3 Continue the process until none of the numbers has a common prime divisor So, dire-direcho lang So, continue lang natin So, we have 4, 6, and 10 So, isip ulit tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide dito sa tatlong ito so, 4, 6, and 10, divisible sila by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. 
10 divided by 2 is equals to 5. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa hulihan, sa quotient natin dito sa baba, we have 2, 3, and 5. So, lahat yan ay prime number na. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide sa kanila. Note, the greatest common factor is the product of all prime factors common to all the numbers given. So, the common factors are 2 times 2 times 2 is equals to 8. The greatest common factor is 8. So, lahat ng numbers na nandito sa gilid, dito sa ating left, ito yung ating common factor. So, kailangan lang natin kuhanin yung product niya. So, 2 times 2 times 2, the answer is 8. So, ang ating GCF ay 8. Let's try this. What is the GCF of 32 and 36? Again, first step natin is to write the numbers horizontally. So, yan. Isinulat lang natin ang horizontal. 32 and then 36. Next step natin, mag-isip daw tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide dun sa ating event. So, pwede siyang i-divide sa 2. So, 32 divided by 2 is equals to 16. 36 divided by 2 is equals to 18. So, ulitin lang ulit natin yung process. So, isip ulit tayo ng prime number na pwedeng i-divide sa 16 and 18. So, 16 and 18, they are both divisible by 2 ulit. So, 16 divided by 2 is equals to 8. 18 divided by 2 is equals to 9. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung nasa ilalim natin is 8 and 9 na. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide sa 8 na pwedeng i-divide sa 9. So, the common factors are 2 times 2. Sabi ko nga kanina, yung nasa gilid natin sa left side, ito yung ating common factor. So, kailangan lang natin itong i-multiply. So, the greatest common factor is 4. Let's try another one. So, what is the greatest common factor of 45 and 50? Remember, step 1, write the numbers horizontally. So, sulat lang natin pa horizontal ang 45 and 50. And then, isip tayo ng prime number na divisible dun sa ating given. So, 45 and 50. So, anong prime number na pwedeng i-divide sa 45 na pwedeng i-divide sa 50? So, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 5. So, 45 divided by 5, the answer is 9. And then, 50 divided by 5, the answer is 10. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-divide sa 9 at 10. Wala na tayong common factor ng 9 and 10. So, the greatest common factor is 5. So, ito na yung ating GCF. I hope you learned something new today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.